Today, we're gonna make a band system that uses the chat system on Roblox and takes less than five minutes to script. The first thing we're gonna do is go to game settings, security, and enable studio access to API services. This will let us test while we're in studio. After that, go to server script service and create a new script. The first thing we need to do is create a data store to store the user IDs of the players we wanna keep permanently banned from this game. To do that, first we'll get data store service. So local data store service equals game, get service, data store service. Then we need to create the band data store, which we'll just call band store. And then we'll do data store service, get data store, and we'll call this band store. Let's create a table of user IDs for the admins who will be able to ban people. I'll put my own user ID in first. Then we're gonna create our ban and unban functions. The first one will be the ban player function, which just takes the player as the argument. First, it'll kick them, and then you can add your own message. We'll add you've been banned. And then we're gonna add them to our data store so that they can't rejoin. All we do for that is ban store, set async, player.userID, to true. Basically the way this works is the band store will have a true and false value for every user ID in it. If the ID is true, that means the player is banned and we can set it to false to unban the player. That's what we'll do in our unban function, which will take in the ID of the player, and then we'll do band store set async to number ID to false. We use two number because later on we're going to be sending a string of the ID, and this just guarantees that the ID will be in the right format. Now we need to connect to player added using game.players.playeradded to check if a player is banned when they join and give the admin access to the ban system. First, we'll do local ban data equals ban store get async player dot user ID. Now, if the ban data is true, so if ban data, then we'll just kick the player and tell them you've been banned. We'll do player dot chatted connect function, and then the message the player sends. The first thing we'll check is we'll make sure that this player who's talking is in the admin table. So we'll do if not table.find admins player.userid then return end. We use a guard clause here which will stop the function if the player chatting is not in the admin table. Table.find will loop through this table until it finds the value you put here. Next up, we'll split the string into a table which will allow us to access each word individually. We'll do local split message equals string.split and then message. Now our divider will be this space. So every single string that has a space in between it will be divided into an index on our table which is split message. So if the user chats and says ban flamingo, then split message one equals ban and split message two will equal flamingo. So we can use this to check if they banned and this to get the username of the player they're banning. So let's do if string.lower split message one is equal to the word ban then. Next we need to get the username which will be in split message two. So in the case I just showed you, it would be flamingo. From there we'll get the player in the game. So we'll do local player banned equals game.players find first child username. If the player is in the server, then we'll ban them. Next, let's create our unban function. We'll switch the end to an else if and do string.lower split message one equals unban, then local ID equals split message two, unban player ID. To test our code, I'm gonna add the test player IDs to the admin list. Those are negative one and negative two. Now we can go to test and take two players. Then I'm gonna ban player one by typing exclamation point ban player one. As you can see, it kicks them from the game and it says you've been banned. Now, if we clean up the test and restart it, when the game starts, we should see that we're banned again on player one. As you can see, player one is banned. So in order to get him back, I need to do the user ID of player one, which is negative one with the unban command exclamation point unban negative one. Now if I clean up one more time and rejoin, I won't be banned anymore. There, we're back in the game. It's important to note that for the ban command, you need to use the player's username, not their display name. You can find someone's username by clicking here and then looking at the at under their display name. 
We hope this tutorial helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them. You can also download all of this code and our other tutorials by subscribing to our Patreon in the link in bio. Be sure to comment your next idea for a tutorial and like and subscribe to see the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.